Good morning, this is the Shaman Oracle reading for Thursday and today I'm reading for Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces and this reading is the last one, namely for Pisces. Welcome Pisces, I wish you a wonderful day and the rest of a great week. And the cards are shuffled and laid out for the reading so we can start right away. First card is called Mirror and there are different suits to this deck like Confirmation, Inquiry, Action, Activation and Transmission. And the card Mirror is an Inquiry card asking you who or what is triggering you. The filter of our own experience is how we experience life 90% of the time, namely through our own projections. When someone reminds us of an unhealed experience, we get triggered. Often it's an unconscious thing. People and situations can trigger our mirrors to reflect back to us what we believe to be true about life, the universe and ourselves. Mirrors pointing to our shadow and our light. Mirrors revealing the parts of us that are yet to be accepted, witnessed or loved. This card is guiding you to look closely at what experiences or people are currently triggering in you and what they could be mirroring back to you. When have you felt like this before? Could there be opportunities to hear something in you? Or are they shining a light on something that longs to be witnessed in you? This goes for the good and the bad. The good, they are those who we admire and put on a pedestal. If we do not realize that we are attracted to them because we are like them, we will need to cut them down in order to rise to their level. And the bad, they are those we despise, we are envious of and we put down. If we do not realize that it triggers something in us, then it is still yet to be healed and we will remain hurt and wounded. Ask these questions. Who or what is triggering you? What is it in you that they are triggering and what part of you longs to be witnessed? Next card is called Guide and Guide relates to the illuminated path and the Priestess Guide on this card illuminates the path ahead with her right hand, the hand of action. On her left, the side of receiving, a wolf offers her guidance as well. And this card is about your personal path, encouraging a deeper awareness of the choices coming up in your life. The wolf is a symbol of strength and freedom. And this is the core of the message on this card. You are free to create a path that lies before you and you have the strength to see it through no matter which one you may take. It's time to seek the wisdom of your own inner guide. Meditate and ask if a new or different direction regarding business, family or personal matters is called for. Then muster up the courage and self-trust to take the necessary steps forward. This card could indicate 
the coming of a new teacher into your life. It may be someone who advises you in specific personal arenas such as education, nutrition or finances. Or it could be someone who pursues a more spiritual path. Let yourself be open to the guidance and inspiration such a new teacher can bring together with the wisdom of your own inner voice. You will find the path before you becoming illuminated and you will be ready to take your next steps with the clarity and purpose of eternal life your eternal life deserves. You will be ready to take your next steps with the clarity and purpose your eternal life deserves. Say this affirmation, I direct my own destiny in every way. I open myself to the loving guidance I receive from others, from the universe and from within. Say again, I direct my own destiny in every way. I open myself to the loving guidance I receive from others, from the universe and from within. Last time, I direct my own destiny in every way. I open myself to the loving guidance I receive from others, from the universe and from within. Last card is called breathe. And breathe has essential meanings like patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, and trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. What do you need to do when you are in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing press. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to repl replenish your body, your being and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses, breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear. There is a relationship message. Don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. So take a breath and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety for there is no need for tension. Savor the moment and the waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. There is a prosperity message. You have worked long and hard. Your dreams are coming to fruition and you want to hurry things along. You are the slow one moving languidly yet still progressing right now in a rhythm dictated by your authentic nature, the essence of your dream and the will of the universe. Slow and steady wins this race. You will indeed win if you relax, stay the course, trust your intuition and breathe. There is a protection message, inertia, laziness and apathy are signs not of slowing down but of decay and lifelessness. Wake up and do something to shake this off. Go outside for some air. 
we walk in nature, we remind you that all of life is ensouled and magical. Get some exercise, move out of your head and into your body and breathe in deeply. Each breath is precious. So, that was your reading, Pisces. Thanks for listening. And Pisces, I shall be back Saturday with some surprising reading. I will think of something. I don't know yet what it is, but maybe you drop in. That would be nice. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.